everyone he is a friendly back with your weekly dose of what's on deck and yes I have a big fucking zit on my face <laughs> to tack of the zit this week on what's on deck <laughs> and um oh, hopefully we won't have too much to talk about this week not like last week last week was ridiculous with Black Friday stuff going on but let's get on with it let's check out Kickstarter and before we get into that there's one other one I wanted to mention that I regrettably missed last week because it's not on Kickstarter it's on a European crowdfunding apparently it's the first crowdfunding website in Europe and it's called Ulul Ulul <laughs> and it is the Bastille playing cards by Sartreus Card Club in Grenoble currently 48% funded 28 days left uh, over almost $5,700 Canadian out of a almost well over 11,000 and a half or $11,500 well, $11,780 as you can see uh, Bastille playing cards more like the Bastille Sartreus card club playing cards uh, to be printed by USBC they are nicely designed beautiful court cards as you can see very colorful 2500 being produced and it's actually, it's actually very uh, focused on Grenoble it was about a French Revolution that began in Grenoble so kind of fitting that they would want to do a project based on that supposed to be I guess delivered in March nice cards nice faces I like the pips nice back design and it looks pretty cool I like it I'd like to support it but I do have some concerns I see I will you that's the uh, made it so that each pip represents a, a season which is kind of how I poker that kind of supposedly works and also black cards represent night, red cards represent day, and etc. etc. Each court card represents a different person. Spade represent nobility. Diamond represent the bourgeois. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Hearts represent the clergy. And clubs represent the peasants. And the aces, nice custom. It's a beautiful deck, true and true. I really like it. It's going to be good quality because it's USPC. Uh, interesting jokers. With a reveal within there, seven of spades, I think. And next to four of spades, they also have a gas card, a three of spades with a white back design, which actually would almost look pretty good as well if they use that for the deck. Overall, I like it. However, it's twenty-two dollars for a deck, and I, I'm guessing that's Canadian because they've converted this to Canadian. It is available to anyone worldwide, much like Kickstarter. On top of that, you also get something I don't want and don't need, which is a five-euro offer to use on their website. How about instead of doing that, I can just buy a deck? Of cards without paying you an extra five dollars for something I don't need or five euros I guess it is that uh, turns me off a bit quite a bit the other thing that turns me off or concerns me is I don't quite know how this works is it more like Indiegogo where they take your money irregardless of whether or not it succeeds or is it more like Kickstarter where they only get the money if it succeeds and I have not been able to find an answer to that question on this website as of yet. Um, so I don't know. And apparently the least amount of money contributed is seven dollars, which is what do you get for seven dollars? Is it just a deck? They go press it. Oh I gotta register. Never mind. Let's move on to Kickstarter. The elephant playing cards we launched by 
talented point guards, is funded. Only two decks funding at the moment. Uh, the Desert Edition and that Night Edition, which is Gilded. Don't know if they've hit or are close to hitting the stretch goal for the Tundra deck, which I wouldn't mind getting. But they're funded. Wild Vibe, Jungle, Playing Cards, which is Geometric Animal Theme, by Zing, Playing Cards. Zing! I mean, not each other for some reason. 20% funded, 9 days to go. I don't think that one's going to fund at this rate, unfortunately. Because, I mean, uh, they put in a nice amount of effort for this deck. It's unique. It's different. While being similar to other decks, I mean, the geometric stuff is similar to a lot of decks. Animal themes have been done before, but combining them is kind of unique. Bicycle Four Seasons, Summer Edition by Collectible Cards is funded with three hours to go. Uh, time is running out if you want to get those at the Kickstarter price. Bicycle Marble Riderbacks, however, by Max Playing Cards and Collectible Cards is only 51% funded, 14 days to go. They are really trying to get this funded. I've seen a lot of emails and stuff like that from them. Uh, you know, just they, they've been trying to promote it under different projects. However, it's got a very big goal. I mean, they've got over nine thousand dollars right now. You'd think that would be enough, but that's only half of what they're looking for, which makes me wonder if the goal is not way too high. And they really need to reduce that goal because otherwise it's not going to fund. I don't think at this rate. Bicycle TCC Rainbow Point Cards by TCC Point Cards is ninety-four percent funded. Thirteen days ago. It's just a matter of time before it runs. Sub Rosa by Card Sexy. I think that's how you pronounce that name. It's 87% funded. 11 days to go. I think it will fund in a matter of time. Because cardists will definitely buy it. <laughs> or should buy it anyways. Probably will. Um, I just wanted to check out this one quickly. What is the stretch goal? The one thing that turns me on for this one, I noticed afterwards. Is that these are being printed by WJPC, which is uh, Wayne Jane something whatever <laughs> playing cards in China, which Robert Thompson has used on some decks in the past, and the quality was not very exciting. Um, the stretch goal for the Tundra dollars if they hit fifteen thousand dollars, and the only reason why this has funded is because they're using a cheaper printer and have had lower goals. At this rate, though, they may hit that. Funding goal, the stretch goal, they got enough time to get a couple of thousand dollars more, so we'll see what happens. Leon Playing Cards by Chris Mayhew is currently 60% funded, 68 hours to go. It may make it with a little last minute uh, boost in funding. Personally, I'm not really sold on this one. The bad design is just too plain. I mean, I don't know. I just, I, I don't really like the bad design. I prefer the original Dr. Leon decks as opposed to these. Yeah, they need like 4000 over 3000 basically $3,500 Canadian in order for this to fund. They still got time. Uh, I just don't know if it's going to happen. Yes, we'll see. The Lords and Gods of Egypt by SDI Group of which I cannot attest to the quality because I have not handled any of the decks, but it would, obviously I have concerns or reservations about uh, the quality of their decks. It is funded, well funded, with 10 days to go. There's also the Ancient Egypt playing cards by Timothy Kramer, or Kramer, 73% funded, 23 days to go. Personally, however, uh, despite the fact that the Ancient Egypt ones are going to be, I'm pretty sure, USB produced, the quality will be good. I think that the Lords and Gods of Egypt playing cards are much better than the Ancient Egypt. First of all, they have three different top cases, three unique back designs and colors, and beautiful artwork, and not to mention nice foil and embossing on the top cases. While the Ancient Egypt are going to be more, uh, I think, just standard top cases. No embossings or foils. And they just have the same back design for all three decks. And the colors are, I mean, they're okay. For some reason, they decided to make black 
the main deck and the others are stretch goals. I don't even think this would be a black deck at all. Um, because it doesn't really fit with, you know, Egypt and the desert. A black deck. Let's make a black deck for, the, for a desert. A country that's in the desert, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, personally, if I was to choose between those, I would go with the Lords and Gods of Egypt, if you're interested in those themes or those type of decks. Just because there's a bit more variety, uh, a bit more pizzazz on the tough cases, and more color to them, the bat designs and stuff like that, and you can check those out, I've sold them before, so we won't get into them again. Plus, it's funded. The Ancient Egypt may or may not make it, and probably will, with 23 days to go, but you never know. Pike and Clover Point Cards by Ian Comstey is funded, 12 days to go, I like it. Beautiful playing cards inspired by a classic tarot deck. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. And I think it's much better than the previous deck they put out. Then there's the Bicycle Elegance by D. Phillips. He seems to have added a second deck. I think the white deck was the second one. It's still on like evil one. You're 32% funded five days ago, and I don't see it happening at this rate. Boring, a major miracle. But I don't think it's in the cards. Is that in the cards? <laughs> um, uh, personally, there's already been a bicycle elegant stack of a pretty sure that was some collectible point cards. Or was it a lead point cards? One or the other, but either way, it was better than this. And I recommend checking that one out. Since you can actually get it, and this one you probably won't be able to get. Bicycle Wild West by Justin Freud is funded. Yay. 27 hours to go to. Very nice decks. I like them and I recommend checking them out. Got my recommendation. Next up, the Eyecatcher Playing Card Box by Eyecatcher. It's 62% funded, 13 days to go. It's just a box for storing six decks. Nothing too exciting. I'm sure you can get the Eyecatcher Playing Cards there as well, but I'm not a fan of the Eyecatcher deck because they put, you know, the the value of the card in one corner for the index and then the suit in the opposite corner which makes it completely useless for pretty much everything and I mean I guess I don't I guess I wasn't a huge fan of court cards either the backs are okay I don't know bicycle varied from magic trick store collectible cards in case you're not familiar with that they are the same company a 67% funded 7 days to go. May or may not make it at this rate. Either way, if it doesn't make it, they will relaunch with half the goal that they're going with right now and get it funded. It is a nice deck. I like it. It's different. It's green color scheme. I mean, it's not that different. It's similar to what you usually see from collectible cards. It's on par with what they usually do. I still don't know why they try to do projects with goals that they usually can't hit. And then they end up relaunching with half the goal. Uh, I just, it just, uh, it, it looks worse for them because then they got all these projects that have failed and have been relaunched. And I don't know. I think they should just go for goal that is attainable, get it funded, and it'll be much better for them. Then there is, that's just my opinion. It's not a big thing. It's not a big deal. There is the... Bicycle Runic Royalty Dark Edition from Keith Glover. It is 54% funded, 17 days to go. May or may not make it. It is, from what I can tell, just a recolor, a dark color of the previous Runic Royalty, which you can see the review of on my channel. I am a fan. I do like the artwork and the style. I mean, it's not the most glamorous deck out there, or the nicest deck out there, but it's a nice deck nonetheless. Then there's the Christopher Playing Guards by Christopher. And it is funded, four hours to go. Uh, I don't think I was a huge fan of that one. It's a pretty simple back design. If I recall correctly, in the box, you can see it's very plain. Not very exciting. Van Bolton Mystical Creatures by Oscar Ray is 55% funded, nine days to go. Again, I'm not sure it's going to make it. Looks like there's, if I recall correctly, there's three different decks. Kind of an animal theme, art theme. And it's just it's not doing it. The tough cases again, they leave a little bit to be desired from the looks of it. Grid Series 2 Typographic Poker Cards by Luke Waddy is 52% funded, 8 days to go. Again, struggling to get there. 
Um, the back design on this one looks like it could be used for a cardistry deck, however it is not a cardistry deck, so I don't understand the back design or why they designed it like that. It is a typography deck, they've funded one before, at least one. Uh, I don't know how many, you know, typographic decks he thinks people need, or how many versions, but I mean, it's not very exciting for me, I'm not a huge fan of typographic decks. I got a couple, I don't remember how many. They're okay. These ones all seem kind of plain. Then we got the Enigma playing cards towards red. This is by Hector Alberto Perez Bezarano. It's Mexican funding. It's 33% funded with 33 days to go. It's. I want to say it will fund, but I'm sure the Mexican currency may turn off some backers. Um, also, it's not very exciting. I mean, the court cards are custom, which is nice. I don't, I don't know if they were custom before. But the back design, however, is very unappealing, in my opinion. I, I just really don't like it. Um, Fibs playing cards. I guess you should look at this one theoretically. I'm pretty sure I looked at Fibs last week. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, if I didn't, and I, you want to check it out, by all means, I'm not going to look at it again because I'm pretty sure I looked at it. Um, okay. So, I mean, the back design I'm not very excited about on these ones. I'm also not very overly excited about the court cards, although they are custom, so that's good. Again, see this is the problem. It says $150 for a deck. A lot of people, and it, it does say Mexican, but a lot of people are going to go, oh, that's pretty expensive, and they're going to be turned off right away. When you're doing a deck like this, and you're in a foreign country like Mexico or Australia, or wherever it may be, you need to put how much it is in American so that backers know. Now, it does say, I just noticed, it does say it's about $10 Canadian, which is actually a reasonable price. It's quite cheap for a deck on Kickstarter, to be fair. And it asks, as far as I'm concerned, it is a $10 deck at most, if even. <laughs> but um, they should, uh, maybe they're not doing that because Kickstarter is doing that now, maybe that's a new Kickstarter thing where they uh, convert it for you so that there's no issues, but they could still put it in the description here, it's about this much US. So the backers know, and there's no question. Uh, I mean, it doesn't take that much effort to convert the prices. You just gotta go on Google. It looks like they're using purple colors for these spades and the clubs, and red for the hearts and the diamonds, and the red tuck case, very nice. Simple tuck, it, tuck case, but nice. It looks like there could be some red foil on a red back. And judging by the tuck case, I'm going to assume it's being printed in Taiwan. The court cards are not bad. Actually, they're printed with Cardamunde. Uh, they are adding two cards to the deck because of that. Uh, but they're keeping those a secret. But they say it will be uh, useful. And I guess this is the original one in blue. Which I thought the original one was actually black. But I never got it anyways. And I'm not interested. Some of you might like them though. So definitely check them out. Fibs playing cards is also printed by Carter Mundi. And it's by the Las Vegas Carter Street Company. It is 93% funded 40 days to go. It's a very, very long project. It's a nice, it's a decent back design, which is borderless, full bleed. However, the faces are fairly, are going to be standard from what I can tell, because I never saw any pictures of the faces. So, you know, you know, keep that in mind. Thistle Sci-Fi Angels Playing Cards, number three by Don Daniel Taylor IV. That's a thumbs down for me. I really could care less about that deck or the cheap quality it's going to be. 
but it is funded with 20 hours to go. Pixel bug point guards that you looked at by Mark B, or is it Mark B fifth? I don't know. 6% funded, 45 days to go. Yeah, it's not good at all, from what I can recall. The presidency playing cards by Eliza Smith. 23% funded, 12 days to go. I haven't seen this one yet, so it's new to me. It's an interesting box. That's for sir. $15,000 Canadian gold. That's, I mean, that's how much it is in Canadian. The conversion that they're doing now on Kickstarter, which I appreciate. Although it may not help you out very much, but it's not, it's a massive goal. They've decided to make it so that the faces have a whole bunch of symbols and words as opposed to pips. Which, yeah, is just really random and weird. At least, I use the same symbols for a suit, so that's not just a different symbol for every card. Seems unnecessary. And then the court cards, absolutely horrible. I mean, these this artwork is just horrible. There's all sorts of stuff here. They've made it so the artwork is mirror image, despite the fact that it's a one way because of all the writing, and even the number cards are one way. So why would you bother trying to? Make the court cards mirror image, it's just unnecessary. You got Mike Pence on the spades doing a dab. I don't know why everyone does that, it's stupid. The dab is stupid, quite frankly. Oh, look, it's Pinocchio Trump. <laughs> that, that's a perfect image for Trump, but uh, obviously, this, this deck is for me, it's pretty horrible. The artwork is garbage, as far as I'm concerned. And I just, I do not like it. I don't know who's producing it. Oh, wait. It's being produced by the USB-C, which, which explains the big goal. They expect to receive the decks by mid to late December 2017. That is not going to happen if you just launched your project and don't even have the money as of yet to produce the decks. There's two decks apparently. I did not see the back designs soon anywhere. Apparently it ships in January and or February, depending what it is. There is no chance in hell they're going to get these decks by mid or late December 2017. Unless they got somebody who works there. <laughs> That's the only exception I would, you know, say. Anyways, uh, Art of Cardistry, well, actually it's not Art of Cardistry, it's Strain, Stain, not Strain. Strain Glass Playing Guards, yes, no. Stain Glass Playing Guards by Dylan Prescott. Is funded 11 days to go. It's pretty nice. They are NPC printed, and for some reason, we're not limited. They're 2,500 being produced, and they're too expensive as far as I'm concerned for an NPC deck. Crystal Cobra by TCC is funded 13 days to go. The Wood Trainers is also funded with 13 days to go. Why they need projects on three different counts at the same time, I still don't know. World Secret Playing Cards by World Secret Cards is 16% funded 5 hours to go. Ain't gonna happen, I could have told you that from the onset. <laughs> Bad Girl Pinups by Evolutionary Comics is funded 3 days to go. Not a huge fan. The Copper and Steel Metal Playing Cards by Jet Home Run Games 58% funded 51 hours to go. For the, like the millionth time, it is not funding, and hopefully this is the last attempt at metal playing cards, because despite the fact that there are 
they did have eight thousand dollars in funding almost nine thousand dollars in funding it is still not enough to fund the project and despite the fact that there is some demand it's not enough demand as far as I'm concerned and they really need to just put metal playing cards on a shelf and move on to something else I'm tired of seeing the same old same old every single time from home run games they've been doing the same thing for about three years it's time to do something new and unique and different choice cloverbacks designed by ben Carrazzi. hope that's how you pronounce his name and being produced by penguin magic it's 86 percent funded five days to go let's get this one funded they're pretty nice it's uh possibly looking a little bit iffy right now it does have time it should fun but you never know multi playing cards black edition by cumber is 55 percent funded 21 days to go not a fan was not a fan of the original version and not a fan of this version rainbow unicorn special edition playing cards by hand lord which i saw you last week it's just a fun little deck basically all more or less a reprint of the previous april fools deck they did a few years ago it is funded 20 days to go it's fun imperial deck which i'm pretty sure i saw last week by d enigma is 91 percent funded 17 days to go it will find it just a matter of time it's a pretty nice deck the one thing i think i mentioned was that i wish they had like a whole body for the court cards as opposed to just big giant heads all right they're gonna go into the effort of making custom court cards and doing all this detail at least give them a body Axel 1.0 playing cards by Axel cards is 7% funded 48 days to go horrible in my opinion I don't want to see sound meat or anything like that but they just don't look good and look like they're, they're designed by a kid or something I don't think it's gonna fun there's lots of time though so we'll see what happens More cool on tarot decks. Dracula Cat by Potat Cedric. Still trying to find it. It's 36% funded five days to go. It's not going to happen at this right. Sakabu. Bring anywhere safe while drinking bar game. Yeah, okay. If somebody's going to take a, a game with them to the bar. I don't really see that happening. I don't expect to see that happening. <laughs> and then we got Dragonback Poker Cards by Ben Green. It is funded, nine days to go, well funded. I don't see the appeal in this one. I mean, the artwork is nice. Not so who's producing it. It is limited to 500, but I'm just not seeing too much appeal for me personally. There's the Barata Tarot which is the major arcana cards by Sinise Chaba funded five days to go well funded pretty low goal I don't remember if his last one actually funded though don't remember by the way as I mentioned Sisterhood of Blood Volume 2 did not fund which is rather disappointing they will be relaunching in the new year um, I think it's like I said it's very disappointing because it's a beautiful deck, very nicely designed, and meanwhile, there's a bunch of other decks that are pretty crappy that are funding for some reason, and I just don't understand it. A lot of tarot decks. We'll look at this one. I just wanted to see. And this one, I do you know, recommend checking out. Unless you really absolutely have no desire for anything tarot related. It is just the major arcana cards. I need to see his other projects go very quickly. Cancel funding was canceled in the previous attempts, um, which means we're gonna have the major arcana cards, but not the actual cards. That concerns me a little bit. Because how are we gonna use these cards, or how would somebody use these cards? I mean, I'm also concerned about the quality of the cards, but how would somebody use them if they don't have the, the other cards? Moving on, 
uh, Inn's Mouth. Lost Games, the Welsh Craft Point Guard by Cthulhu Project. 80% funded already, 11 days to go, pretty low gold. Oh, okay, it's a 50, well, $5,800 Canadian gold. Um, not sure what the hell this is supposed to be. I'm not sure supposed to be like a tarot card. Peace out, C. There is a Spanish deck, a French deck, which is a poker deck. And that explains that other one. And also a dice game. The Spanish deck looks like this. Custom artwork, not very exciting. From what, I can, what I'm seeing so far. And they don't have the traditional French suits. Just numbers in the corner. And different suits. And they don't have, I don't think they have 52 cards. It's different. The suits... The Spanish cards, of course, Spanish decks have Orals, which is gold, Copas, which is cups, Espadas, which is swords, and Fastos, which is clubs. In this one, they adapted them to Moon, Blood, Eyes, and Talon, which you see in there. There's the Moon, there's the Eyes, the Blood, and the Talon, I guess. And, wow, that's not a very good back design at all. The overall basic concept is okay, but whatever the hell this fist thing is, it's absolutely horrible. It looks like it was designed by a kid. The artwork is not bad, aside from that. The front deck has your traditional spades, hearts, gloves, and diamond suits. Again, the artwork is okay. It's not tremendous. It's mirror image court card, but it's not at the same time. It's night and day, literally. And the back design again, very simple, not too exciting. Um, let's see who's producing these cards. I don't see who's producing the cards, but it's $12 for a poker deck. You cannot get the Spanish deck individually. It's 24 bucks for both the French and the poker deck. And again, I'm not seeing if it says or where it says. Who is producing? So, as far as the quality is concerned, buyer beware. If you're interested in this one personally, I am not. The artwork does not cut the mustard for me. I can't even figure what I'm saying. The, the artwork does not do it for me. And I'm not overly interested in a Spanish deck. They do have some somewhere already. And next, one last deck to look at very quickly. The 2017-2018 League Legends deck by Gus Scott. 21% funded, 24 days to go. May or not make it at this rate. <coughs> I apologize. It may or may not make it at this rate. This other one, we just looked at the Inns Mouth. Looks like it will fund. 80% in 11 days to go. Let's look at the League of Legends, though. This one looks pretty interesting. Interesting artwork on the court cards, although I'm not. And actually, they got the same artwork on all the number cards. Not really liking it that much. It looks very repetitive. It was the same. Thing. And I see what it is actually is soccer players or football players for European holding soccer balls, doing a little pose. Footballs. <laughs> um, so that's what it's all about. Best players in the world's top four leagues La Liga, Serie A, Premier League, and Bundesliga. What? No Portuguese league? Oh, come on. I'm not buying it. No Portuguese league, I'm done. <laughs> um, the aces have the best goalkeepers 2 through 4 the best defenders 5 through 7 the best midfielders 8 through 10 the best attackers and the court guards are the most dangerous players with the total combined assists and goals from the previous season the back design is a one way back design that's just a bunch of patterns, I guess, representing the leagues. For the hell of it, with the 
soccer ball that's not even centered properly. It's not even, like, you can see it's, like, spun around or something, which is kind of interesting. Massive borders, just not very appealing. At least a massive border from the looks of it. I'm guessing it's NPC printing from the looks of it. Here you can see all the players from each league. That is it. it. Each suit does have its own color scheme for the players. And it is what it is. Actually, it's being printed in USPC. Uh, oh, sorry, not really USPC. Printed in USA by QP Group. So, not NPC, but I think QP Group is related to NPC. So, basically, the same thing. May or may not make it at this rate. I'm not a fan, quite frankly. That is it for Kickstarter. Stay tuned for what's going on elsewhere in the world of playing cards. Not too much to talk about there, but we'll do a separate video. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time with more.